Look at it here in verse 16 of 14. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper. That's the comforter. That's the Holy Spirit. That he may be with you forever. That is the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it does not see him or know him, but you know him, because he abides with you and will be in you. Listen to 12. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. After a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live. You will live also. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father and you in me and I in you. Then look at verse 22. If anyone loves me, he'll keep my word and my Father will love him. Listen to this and we will come to him and make our abode in him. What's Jesus saying? He says, I am going to leave you, but yet now I'm going to be with you 24-7. I'm going to be with you, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter will be with you, and I'm in the Father, and the Father is in me. In other words, the whole Trinity takes up residence in the life of every believer. Is that comforting? That, that's a tremendous statement. And just an awareness of that fundamental truth ought to be a great word of assurance to every Christ follower.